continuing with pi game let's look what we've got so far got color changing startup sound one tux moving one tux in the background and anytime i click we get a sound okay we'll close that let's go into it and edit this time we're going to resize that tux that moves it's kind of big so let's resize him uh what i'm gonna do here we load the image i am going to resize him and i'm going to create a variable and I'm just going to call it tux. So it's going to replace the original image. And I'm going to say tux equals pi game uh, dot transform. Oops. Uh, and then we're going to do the transformation is going to be a scale. And what are we going to transform? We're going to transform tux. And what are we going to change the width and height to? Um, I'm going to change him to 100 by 100. Uh, I actually think he's close to 200 by 200 or somewhere. I don't even know exactly what the resolution of that image is, but I'm thinking it's going to be about half. So we do that. Make sure to close the second set of brackets. And let's uh, give that a call uh, a go. There you go. He was a bit smaller there. Ran by... Uh, you can see it resize both our tuxes because I called them both tux. And you also notice he seemed to move faster. Since we resized him, the animation can happen faster. Uh, and in our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, clock feature in Pygame to prevent that. Because if you don't use the clock feature, um, the animations in your game will depend on how fast your computer is. So, you know, you design a game now on a slower computer, 10 years from now someone tries to run it, it may run super fast. You get this problem with some older games from like the late 80s, early 90s, trying to run them on your computer. They run too fast because of the timing because they just went as fast as they could back then. So our next tutorial will be on that. But once again, let's look at what we just did. We did transform tux to tux. If we only wanted to resize one of them, we would uh, basically change uh, this. I could call this, instead of tux, I'll call this tux2 and I'll come down here and add tux2 there so it's not changing both of them it's creating it's not replacing the tux image it's creating a new tux image so uh, I think that's everywhere I need to change it just those two places and uh, let's try running our code now and you see the background tux stayed the same size in that case so you can replace it or do individual accounts of it by creating new variables new objects so I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.